Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm out in the woods and I'm going to be actually doing some field testing of this Tac Niner multi-tool of shovels. Um, you know, I did a video of this um, two or three videos ago, a couple weeks ago, and um, got some decent feedback on it. Most people thought it was kind of cool. Some people thought it was very gimmicky and thought it looked cheap. And uh, you know, the only way you're gonna really tell is you take this thing out and you try it. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna chop some stuff, dig some stuff, see how this handle uh, holds together. Now, if you haven't seen that video, you need to go back and check it out because all the specs are gonna be there, all the rundown, the complete shovel. I'm not gonna go through that all over again, but what I will do is I'll do a, just a brief overview for you right now. And then um, we'll get into a little bit of a destruction test with it. So stick around. All right, so what makes this a multi-tool shovel? Well, uh, it's really all the tools that are enclosed in this, in this handle. And what this is is a sectioned shovel that has uh, aluminum screw-off pieces, and each piece contains a, a different tool or function. So on the end of the handle, we have a compass. There is a storage container and a ferro rod. Storage container can, uh, holds a screwdriver bit, which uh, fits in the handle here. So you have three tools right here, compass, um, ferro rod, maybe four, storage container, and then your screwdriver. Next section, has this multi-purpose blade and this has a bottle opener, a knife blade, a saw, and then this little gig at the end which you could probably you know screw the handle together and use this as a frog gig or, or something like that. Um, and that's it for, for that tool. Next tool is this glass breaker. And then the shovel itself has some multi-tools on it as well. There's a kind of rope cutting uh, breaker right here. There's a serrated edge. There are hex nut drivers right there. And then there's a little bit of sharpening to the blade shovel, not much though. It's a pretty standard shovel, I guess, blade. But uh, so there's a few few features, and then of course there's a ruler on this end. So you know, a lot of people are going to say, well, this is it's pretty much a gimmick. It's just you know, it's a lot of junky tools um, in one one shovel, and they may be right. I don't know. I mean, uh, at initial impressions of just handling this thing, um, it seems to be pretty solidly made. Uh, the sections screw together fairly easily, and there is no wobble or bending of the tool when I handle it. Uh, this edge has proven to be sharp. I've put that through some stumps, and it, it goes in, sinks in pretty well. So I guess the only thing is we need to really do is uh, test this thing, doing some digging and stuff, and see how these handle sections hold up. Or, you know, what I'm curious is if they're going to loosen up or if they're going to deform and, and start wobbling as I use it, but who knows. Um, you just gotta go out and try it, right? So that's what we're gonna do. This is a pretty soft uh, stump.
here. That worm's trying to escape. And I have to eat it worm. First strike, not bad. Yeah, <clears throat> this fire steel is, I don't know, hard to work with. It's small. I'm afraid I'm going to cut myself on the shovel trying to get this thing to ignite.
it's just so short and small, I ended up cutting my feather stick off with the shovel. See that? But I was able to get feather sticks, so I don't know. If you had a pocket knife, this might be a better, better way of using it, but the shovel edge is just not working. So I will put a fail on the ferro rod. Some pretty nice fine shavings though off the serrated edge. That's respectable. So far, it's uh, it's holding up well. The shovel's doing a pretty good job. The other sticks were were decent. I mean, they that's respectable. I'll take that. The ferro rod though failed. It's it's just so tiny, and you can't really strike it with any part of the shovel. So without destroying your uh, prep. So we're gonna try the saw next. I am gonna try the ferro rod one more time with. Um, the knife blade. I forgot that I had the knife blade to use too. See, a ferro rod's already starting to unscrew itself. If it, it comes out, if it was permanent, it might be better. Smoke's keeping the bugs off me. Wanna move down here a little bit. Well, so the shovel, how did it perform? I think as a shovel it's fine, and I like that it's compact, that you can take it apart and store it in a small space and take a shovel with you, and it's fairly lightweight. Um, but for all the multifunction tools that come with it in the handle, I'm not a real big fan of those. I mean, they're all right. They they performed adequately, but as far as being really good at what they're supposed to do, probably not as good as a dedicated tool. I'd rather have much rather have a um, a multi-tool with me that has a saw blade and a knife blade and screwdrivers and things like that, and then just um, rely on the shovel to be a shovel. But I do like the serrated edge on the edge of that shovel. That was handy. That actually shaved wood. Um, it cuts things fairly well. Um, but as a shovel, you know, it's great. It did a great job. So something to throw in the back of my vehicle or into a pack when I need to dig a hole for a campfire, um, I don't see a problem with it. Um, you know, you just got to kind of get past the the marketing that goes around this stuff. And that's that's the, the main thing with any tool or uh, item that you buy. There's marketing. And there's people who don't actually use these tools who are marketing these these things and it takes people like us on YouTube and the in the bushcraft and, and woodcraft community guys who actually go out and use the tools and try them and and put them to their paces. So that's my thoughts on it.
So I hope you liked the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and share, and make sure you hit that bell icon down below. Uh, that way you get notifications of when I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.